How would you like to do weather for your life? Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Never. This guy does it extremely yeah. well. Hey, hopefully, yeah. Mike, during your 44 years, the forecast has gotten more accurate. That's. <laughs> oh, I'm sure. Yeah. yeah, there you go. You're not totally sure. But anyway, yeah, we're going to miss you. That is for sure. Uh, let's talk about what's going on weather wise tonight. And we do have some high clouds out there. Uh, some places it's mostly cloudy. It just depends on your location. 70 degrees right now is what we're working with in Portland. Uh, very interesting. If you've got City Fair tonight, if you're going down to City Fair. It'll be in the upper 60s along the waterfront most of the evening. The big thing is it feels humid around here. Now I looked at the humidity the last three days at the same temperature and look what happened between yesterday and today. The humidity really spiked up and of course the rain we had this morning that made a huge difference. I mean that was just adding the water to the air and then finally we started to warm up and now we really feel it. Here's something else really unusual about today. 70 in Portland, 6 degrees higher in Salem, and it was nine degrees warmer in Eugene. You can tell it was sunnier in Salem and sunnier still in Eugene. And if you want all out sun, boy, Medford, the place to be at 91 today, east of the Cascades, 70s and 80s. Now, as far as the wettest places, well, I'm pinpointing four of them for you on our pinpoint weather net. Camas, Vancouver, Troutdale, and the Bethany area, all with three hundredths of an inch or more. So the rainfall totals were light. We still have a few sprinkles uh, kind of uh, springing across the Kelso Longview area, maybe up towards Battleground tonight, but most of us are dry this evening. And I think that's the way it's going to stay. You know, high pressure was just to our south. Had it lifted just a little more to the north, Portland would have ended up in the mid-70s, which is kind of what we were gunning for. That, that warmth only made it to the Salem area, so we're about 50 miles off. What's going to happen next is out here, you see there's a whole bunch of action over the Pacific. This is what's going to transition to increasing showers tomorrow for our Friday and eventually into Friday evening rain. And I've been tracking that using our rain cast as I like to do. And here we are tomorrow morning, and we could see an isolated shower out the gate or at any time in the morning. But here comes the more consistent shower starting to fire up in the afternoon. Watch what happens while you're out on your Friday evening plans. It looks like those showers develop into just some light rain over the top of us. And they're mostly gone by 8 a.m. Saturday. Maybe a leftover shower out the door. And then it looks dry at this point for Saturday evening. Maybe some breaks in the clouds. And that's great because that is our starlight night in Portland. For the starlight run, it's only going to be about 60 degrees to start. And there's a slight chance of a sprinkle at 745 when you get going here uh, from the Lincoln High School track. How about for the parade itself? You know, that thing starts at 8.30. It makes a short jaunt right down West Burnside before it cuts into the rest of downtown. It looks like it'll be in the upper 50s, but dry. So you'll want a warm jacket for the evening parade. But as far as any rain goes, I don't think you've got too much trouble. For the coast this weekend, showers on Saturday, Sunday. We may see some rain developing later in the day. And scattered showers only for central and eastern Oregon. Most of the weekend not looking too bad for you. Tonight, temperatures in the mid-50s for our lows. You know who loves warm nights? All the plants in our gardens, they do much better when it's above 50 degrees. 59 for a high tomorrow in Seaside. Tomorrow's highs in the I-5 corridor will be in the mid-70s. Uh, Salem and South, you're going to have more sunshine. You'll be a little warmer. Up here around Portland, let's call it isolated showers that turn into rain tomorrow night. 72 for a high temperature in the Rose City. And our seven-day forecast, here it is. It does look cooler and cloudier for the weekend, but Saturday, which is our big starlight day, mm -hmm. at this point, it looks mostly dry for all those events. And that's always something oh, that I, you know, stress even, over. Even going into the evening? Going into the evening, I think we're in good shape. That's good. Okay, Bruce, thank you. Thank all you, right. Bruce.